Hi guys, it's Rita here. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about something that was the main topic of comments under this video, the short version I posted on TikTok and on Instagram, which is the color theory. What the hell is that? How does it work? Like the main, the most liked comments under those videos were color theory is impossible or color theory has me weak crying in the club right now and i get it when you see me coloring the skin the base color with purple and then you see the final result and it just looks just fine i would be questioning it too if i didn't know how it works and the way it works is kind of tricky you see our brains as humans as homo sapiens they are not made to do art. They are made to understand objects as what they are and not what kind of colors they are made of. And we don't know un until we are going to analyze every color of an object. We are not really going to know what colors are in there because your eyes, your brain can't not really tell you. It's the same as with this one trick uh, I will show you. I posted it once on Instagram that depending on the background one color will look so different you, you can see it right here so many people were shocked when i showed it to them it's one of the arguments that yeah our brains are definitely not made for art they are definitely not made for seeing colors apart our brains see the colors together so when you see my hand for example not right now in front of my ipad you don't see it as purple, orange, a little bit of green. I can see it because I have a little bit more trained eye, but I can't, still can't see every color. But there are greens, there are oranges, there are purples, you know. But you see it as just a purple hand, a purple, <laughs> an orange hand. Because your brain doesn't care. Like, it's not in the times where you had to fight for your food, if, like go and run after some kind of animals to kill them you know just the hunting the the basic life we, we are actually made for seeing colors apart like that didn't make sense and like we didn't need that so if you want to learn how to see those colors if you want to learn how to first see them and then use that knowledge of seeing them into creating those compositions, those combinations of colors and creating particular effects, just like the skin I'm drawing right now. You need to take pictures, like choose some interesting pictures, interesting combinations of colors, like weird skin tones in weird, weird environments. Just analyze it, like put it apart, try to combine it yourself, try to recreate it with, with those colors, you will be really surprised because your brain is not expecting that it works the way it works. Your brain doesn't know shit about how this, all of this works. We don't have the ability, like natural ability to do those things. You have to learn it. So analyze it and, and do it yourself and don't even don't even expect your brain to help you. He's even against you. Like, don't listen to your brain. You, in this part, when it comes to color, don't try to go with your gut. Going with your gut well, is not the way to go. You need to really have a reference. When it comes to weird color compositions, you need to really have a reference. Or you need to be such a pro. But I'm not such a pro. So I will not help you like this. Our job as artists is exactly learning the ways that the environment everything around us is tricking our brain into just thinking it's one thing you know you need to learn the way it works and you need to trick other people like you need to make a painting that will tri trick other people into thinking oh this is just one color or it just looks good but you don't know why because people that don't know how it works will just think it's a, it's a, it's beautiful, but it can't be that complicated. No, it is. And just for educational, whoa, that sounded like an accent, educational purposes, just take a picture. Like, 
some weird lightning, weird environment, crazy colors picture, take one and just just take the colors from it. Like just to learn, okay? Just just cheat a little. Like cheating is okay. Like on my on this YouTube channel we are cheating, it's okay. Uh, and just try to color something with those colors. You'll be so surprised. Like your jaw will drop how suddenly, like when you blend, for example, how it comes together because it's crazy. So do it once and then try to just have the picture next to you and try to learn how to do it yourself. Try to come up with those colors that you see on the reference and try to replicate them. It's a very nice le uh, way to learn. This is how I learned and this is, I think, how most of the people learn. You know, just drawing, uh, doing art, any kind of art is actually the skill of replicating and adding something to it. Uh, that's how it works with everything, even music. You don't just create music. You heard it somewhere and then you kind of replicate it, some parts, and you add something from yourself. A lot of parts that you already learned or already heard somewhere. Just the same as with drawing. So if you want to understand color theory, go outside of your comfort zone. Don't go with your gut. Don't go with just how you, what you feel like, because it will not end well. Take a reference, take the colors apart, let them surprise you, and I believe in you. You can do it. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you liked this video, and I hope you liked this drawing. I, this is my favorite, actually. All right, if, if you want to get my brushes, they are all on my website, aliziaprince.com. I will see you in the next video. Thank you so mu much for watching. If you want to see my face or hear my voice once again, then make sure to subscribe to my channel with the bell icon so you get notified every time I post a new amazing video. Okay, bye. I love you.